Howdy YouTube, so back in Bangkok today is uh, Sunday the 18th of June 2017 So this is a place where Pa has actually been living there for a year and a half I set her up here at the start of 2016 We tried living in Laos for a bit but uh, that didn't work out so I decided to stuff that, I'm going back to Australia and we'll get a visa for Pa <coughs> Didn't quite realise it was going to take a year and a half, but finally, it's uh, it's been approved, and um, yeah, we're going back to Australia together in yeah well, one week from today. So today's a Sunday, and next Sunday we're heading back to Australia together. So it's always good to be back in Thailand. I right, just clean a bit of crap off that lens. Might be a bit clearer now. So it's pretty nice weather here. A little bit on the humid side, but nice and warm. Pa's just finishing off getting, um, looking all pretty. Getting ready and we're going down to watch a movie and do a bit of shopping today. <clears throat> I'm just heading down to get a coffee. So yeah, I've been sort of requested to do a few of these style videos by my mate Brad Urbis and, um, I'm going to send him over a few things from Thailand, like uh, some of the Red Bulls he's seen in previous episodes of my Thai videos. And just a few other things, I'll just have a look in 7-Eleven and try and have a think of a few things that are sort of uh, specific to Thailand. Yeah, there's a really nice coffee shop over here. Nice lady too. Always be careful crossing the roads around here. They were saying on the radio the other day that Australia, uh, sorry, uh, Thailand is the number one um, place for Australians to die overseas. Um, and then they try to make out as if it's so dangerous over here in Thailand and all that. And yes, it is, but the, like they don't uh, include the the part that a lot of people that are living over here are Australian uh, retirees. So. They're 70, 80 years old anyway. They're, they're actually dying in probably natural causes or whatever it be anyway, you know. Um, so I think it's like 275 uh, Australians have died in the last 12 months in Thailand. Um, but as I say, I would say around 50% of them are literally just old age people. So, you know, yes, they are telling you the facts, but they're not telling you the whole story. But anyway, I've got to go get some cash out and I'll go over and get some, um, get some coffee. So just got some cash out from the ATM and it reminded me of this time that I was over here. I must have been like uh, three or so, four years ago, something like that, like 2013 or something like that. Um, and I was like driving a, like, a rental car. I just smashed into a dog, right? And I like, killed this dog on the side of the road. See, like I was going like 100 k's down the freeway. Um, dog came out, damaged the shit out of my car. And I was just like not thinking right and I've gone down to the ATM got some money out and it's different over here like in Australia you will um, uh, type in how much you want to get out they'll give you your card back first and then they'll give you your money last so once you've got your money you're right to go but over here they give you your money first and then they give you your card back so it must just be something that was like hardwired into my brain that once you've got your cash you put it in your wallet and you go um, but over here it's the other way around so I think partly because I was not thinking correctly because I just hit a dog you know um, but yeah that's one thing to be careful of always have your wits about you you know um, be vigilant and yeah that's that's a tip worth uh, keeping in mind if you ever do come to Thailand so basically what happened is that the ATM obviously swallowed my card and I lost it um, it wasn't too much of a big deal I got straight on the phone to the bank they cancelled the card and I did actually have a backup. I think it was, um, yeah, I had a, um, a credit card and that was my debit card that got um, lost. So This is one of my favorite uh, coffee shops. Got some nice cakes out the front here too. Pa bought me one of these yesterday. Sort of like a pound cake type thing. Delicious. I'm not going to have one today. I'm just going to go for a coffee though. Just a nice coffee. What are you, Cap? Good morning. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Uh, uh, some ice, ice cappuccino. Ice coffee. Cappuccino. Mm. Okay, I know. 
Yeah. yeah. Moment, and sugar too, yeah? Sugar? No, sugar. Uh, sh have sugar, please. Uh, mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So this is probably, I don't know, like 20 to 30 minutes outside of the center of Bangkok. And by Bangkok standards, it's not like a really busy area, but... <coughs> oh, sorry. Pa's girlfriend, uh, oh, sorry, Pa's sister lives just around the corner, like five minutes. So that's why I set her up here, so that she's close to some uh, family. Um, and there's like, it's very convenient too. Just down there, there's a big market. Um, all the kind of food and stuff you can think of. But just about everywhere in Thailand is convenient, you know. Um, it's just shops absolutely everywhere. It's out of control, like it's, uh, what, 77 million population or something like that? But anyway, I'm not gonna stand around here talking too much while I'm gonna go drink my coffee. I've decided I'll just make a bit of a, a daily vlog video and um, yeah, we'll, we'll rip the GoPro back out when I'm down at the shopping centre. So we've just jumped in a taxi and it's probably about five to 10 minutes drive. It's gonna cost us around 100 baht, which is about four Australian dollars, so about three dollars US, which is very affordable. Um, public transport here in Bangkok is really good. It's convenient and cheap. <coughs> probably able to see these amazing expressways that you've got above us up the back there um, so yeah obviously a city with last time I checked I think it was like 14 million people um, so you put that into perspective Australia has 25 million for the entire country so a very busy busy city and they sort of need the infrastructure of these expressways and there's just roads all over the place I'm starting to get the hang of actual geography and like the maps of uh, Bangkok but the first few times I was here I had no idea about any any sense of direction you just jump in a taxi you might know like the place that you want to go the name of the place you'd say I want to go there you just jump in look out the window and have no idea where you are but um yeah it's a very nice city I, I quite like the the landscape and yeah they've got a nice amount of trees and yeah I just like like being here. Nice weather, nice people. So uh, we'll jump out of this taxi in a few minutes and uh, see us on the other side. So we've just jumped out of our taxi. Um, Central Plaza is just behind that expressway motorway over there. And we're going to Tesco Lotus over here. So we've got to cross the, um, the bridge to get over past here. They, um, they need to do a bit of an upgrade on their buses around here. I was actually, um, so Thailand is actually technically still um, in control by a junta, which is like a military government. They seized power, it was about three or four years ago. And um, once every day, they have like the uh, commander in chief uh, on the TV for an hour. And I was watching him about a year ago and he was saying how they need to get new buses and that, that'll be good for the infrastructure and they're gonna build them all here. And he's definitely right. Like you look at some of these buses and they're definitely a bit past their use by date, you know? But yeah, Thailand has got a thriving economy. Quite an amazing place, really. So that's Central Plaza over there and this is Tesco Lotus where we're going. Got some good shops in here. Central is a little bit more expensive, but it's very nice, like, yeah, really clean and sort of Western prices, really, um, for some of the places. Um, if you like, if you think about electrical goods, like say GoPro or Samsung, they have a certain price they want to sell their stuff for, no matter where it's going to be, you know, so you don't save a great deal on some of your electricals. About six months ago, I sent Pa to school in here. I think it might be up one more level. We were just walking around here and I saw a, um, a school for learning how to uh, speak English better. So she did a month at that school, which was uh, good for her. Never a bad thing to learn. So as you see, they got like a bit of an arcade over there. Bit of a food court person, not the biggest fan of these food courts. Find, 
relatively generic and not the best, you know. I, I prefer street food or a, a proper restaurant. Like, you'll definitely get some uh, cheap food in here, but it's personally not my fave. I don't really like food courts in Australia either, to be honest. Just, yeah, too busy, too loud. Not my cup of tea. Not my plate of, uh, not my bowl of Tom Yum Gung. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts, they're pretty good. And then we've got the Tesco Lotus. This is something we, we don't have in Australia, Tesco Lotus. I believe it's an English thing. I'm not even sure if they've got it in America. Let us know in the comments section down below if you've got Tesco in the USA. Yeah, they've got reasonably priced clothes and all that kind of stuff here in Tesco. It's a good good assortment of different things. Can we squeeze in here or? I think we better go around the other side, yeah? Over here. Yeah, some of the things I'm going to take back, maybe just a few clothes and stuff like that. You get them at yeah, decent prices and I don't know, I like the coffee over here better than the stuff I get in Australia. Like, uh, even just the instant coffee. Oh, she's getting a, a trolley. Better help her with the trolley. Looks like they've seen better days. Sorry. Yeah, the wheels aren't the best on these things. Anyway, we're going to do a bit of a shop anyway. And, uh, yeah, I'll see it's on the other side. So that's most of our shopping done today. It's been about $200. Got, um, yeah, lots of clothes for par. It's cheaper and easier to buy over here. And yeah, I've got that all in the backpack there. And we're going down to get something to eat now. So we're leaving Lotus. And it's a nice little uh, eatery. Kind of street food, but they're little restaurants on the side of the road just down here. Anyone who's yet to come to Thailand, don't be shy of these kind of things. If they look good, just go up and point. They'll tell you how much they are. And you don't really need to speak English. Oh, sorry, speak Thai, sorry. English is fine. These things are good, they're like little banana fritters. Sort of like a KFC style stuff over there. So yeah, one of my favorite dishes is uh, Tom Yum Gung, which translates to soup, salad, prawns. So that's the literal translation of it. We came and ate here yesterday and it was pretty damn good. Reasonable prices too. So this, I guess this kind of is a bit of a food court, but it's, it's just different than the ones inside those shopping centers. It's a bit, I guess a bit more authentic, you know. You right to order, yeah? Yeah, most of the time, car just does the ordering. It's easier for me that way. She knows what I like. So yeah, tomorrow we're going into the center of Bangkok to get um, Pa's visa. Uh, we've got to get that off the uh, visa lady. And yeah, that should be awesome. We'll also go into uh, Asok, which is where the visa lady is. And there's a shopping center called Terminal 21. The whole thing's like a... Uh, Air airport terminal theme style so that's pretty cool okay so the food has arrived so this name of this is Pik Gang Mu it's like um, red Thai chili and pork and then that's my favorite my personal favorite that's Tom Yum Gung 
Nam Con. So you have two different kinds of Tom Yum Gongs. One, it has the, the creamy, uh, milky style sauce to it, or soup to it. And the other one is just, um, yeah, without the creamy milk style. And this one is Som Tum, and that's basically like a Thai salad. And yeah, I personally can't eat it because it's got the crabs in it, and it smells a little bit for me. And then we've obviously got some um, sticky rice, and then some standard rice, so. I'm not going to stand around here talking to the camera for ages, I'm just going to eat it, alright? And I'm not the biggest fan of eating on camera, so yeah, I'll see you later on. So a brilliant, absolutely amazing lunch, calculated to 210 baht, so 100 baht is 4 Australian dollars, just about exactly. So we're up to about eight dollars $8. fifty. That was amazing, and that was including our, our Coca-Cola too, so. Oh, these are brilliant to have after your lunch. I think I'll give it a miss this time though. One thing you notice the first few times you come is like the exposed like electrical wires and how many of them there are. After a while, you're just used to it. You don't think too much of it. So yeah, we're going back into Central here. We came in there quickly yesterday, had a quick look. Looks good. Wow. So it's Sunday. And one thing I'll let you guys know, it's actually illegal to vape here in Thailand. So, yeah, don't do it in front of the cops. There's actually a few cops there and I would really like to have a vape, but for some silly reason it's illegal over here. Oh, Pa's really in a hurry to go to the toilet. could duck across there but they do have a system here you may as well follow it I'm not in any real great deal of a hurry I never usually am in a hurry on uh, when I'm in Thailand just chill out take it easy you'll notice a lot of people don't wear helmets over here on the motorbikes you wouldn't get away with that in Australia and I've done it before over here too it's just I guess it's one of those like when in Rome, do as the Romans do. And it seems that not many people even. Yep, we're going now. But yeah. Seems that people just don't seem to care about it. And we got pulled over by the cops one day and it's like a 500 baht fine, so it was like $20. And just they just seem not to care that much and they send you on your way. They, they don't actually stop you, give you a um, big fine, and then say you're not allowed to ride anymore. It's like, yep, take your 500 bucks and off you go, you just keep keep riding without a helmet. So where Pa is I don't know but I told her to keep going. Let's see if we're allowed to take this camera in. Yeah see in in Central Plaza in you go into the toilet yeah? Central Plaza in Pattaya as soon as you go in there with the camera they'll tell you off straight away. I, I went to go and take a photo of like um, some Lego or something like that and it was imitation Lego and they're like nah 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 put your phone away put your camera away but this one here I think it's it seems more Thai whereas the one in Patea it's more tourist driven you don't seem to see nearly as many foreigners here I guess that they're not so used to seeing people with cameras so it's just not policed as heavily I guess but yeah I've actually done quite a similar tour of this place uh, about six months ago. It's, um, yeah, it's got 2,000 views on it or something like that. Uniqlo, that's a pretty good uh, clothing shop. Reasonable prices and good quality stuff. Do you want to go up the lift or... Do you want to go to the movies now, yeah? 
We'll just go the quick way this time. Anyway, I guess I'll put the camera away and uh, get it back out when we have a look at the cinemas. It's always the way, like, as soon as you put the GoPro away, you just meet a couple of Buddhist monks that are having a joke and a laugh around with you in the lift. They're just back over there. <coughs> They were speaking English and then I repeated what they said in English in Thai and they said, oh, can you speak Chinese? So I think they were, yeah, Chinese Buddhist monks. <coughs> Wearing the full orange robes and all that, so... Yeah, always a bit of fun around the corner over here. Very friendly people. Not everyone, obviously. That can't be said for every country, but yeah. Um, we had a quick look here yesterday and there was only two movies that really caught my eye. Not really one for all the uh, animated kids movies anymore. They don't really do it for me for some reason. I was be steering well clear of that one. Um, Pirates and The Mummy. Pirates 5 or The Mummy. Either of them two. What time we got? 12.30 we might be able to make that one. And the Mummy 1.30. Yeah, we'll go for the mummy then. So yeah, that's it. Movie's all over. Just about to head home now. Still not even hungry. That uh, that lunch filled us up for quite some time. It's about four o'clock now, so we went for about two hours. And, uh, so the movie had Tom Cruise as the main character and Russell Crowe. And he was like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so I didn't really expect that. So sorry about the spoilers if anyone hasn't seen it, but you're not missing out on like a totally awesome movie or anything. So there we go, we'll probably just jump in a taxi out here. Head back to the room and chill out for a few hours. There's a good market over there with restaurants and everything, but I don't think we're gonna bother today. Jump in line for the taxi. about it for the batteries anyway so yeah I'll see he's back at the room so we're back down into our street um, the traffic's banked up all the way back there so we decided it was going to be quicker to just jump out and walk the last five or so minutes so pretty uh, warm there in the sun it's got quite a bite to it I tell you what but we're going to go to Lotus over here they've basically got like same inventory as what you'd expect at a local 7-eleven but pa was just saying they're usually just a touch cheaper so and they, they've probably got a, actually a bit more of a selection there they do more like uh you know selling in bulk and stuff as well so we'll have a look in the tesco lotus express here and uh there's a sort of take you guys through the shop if they allow their filming in there I've had the noodles from over here before and they're quite good. Well, they're closed at the moment, but it's all good. This is a Bart bus. Jump on the back of one of them for seven baht. Hey, what's that? Like two dollars for... What do you get there? Like 12 bottles. Cheap as. You would never get that in Australia. Dog's just in the way. So we want to get some of those Red Bulls that my mate um, Brad from the US wants. Never had them. I reckon we get Antler, Emroy Harsip, 
and a couple of red balls. Mm. You think this one? Lippo. That's Japanese, I think. Do you want to get a basket or? One thing that I'm a very big fan of is Coke out of a glass bottle. It's, well, I don't think I've seen it for a long time in Australia, but I'm going to grab a couple of them. It's just something about out of that glass bottle that's got a brilliant flavour to it. So yeah, that's uh, a bit of a look around here. Oh, there we go. What should we grab? Red Bull Extra? I think he was more keen on the Red Bulls, so we'll get him one of each of the Red Bulls. They're all slightly different flavours, whatever. Get one of these two. And... Lippo. Mm, Lippo. And M. Roy Hasip. We'll get one of these too, man. Why not? <laughs> and I'll get a couple for myself. So, I've been away from these lately. I haven't been drinking too much of them. But I want to get a couple of Cokes as well. Not the most economic way to buy them or drink Coke, but it's more just the flavour. We need to get some more water? Do you want to buy a big one or no? I think we've already got cold cold water, we can get some hot. Euro cakes? Yeah, they've got something that's quite similar to uh, Twinkies over here. They're called Euro cakes. They're like, yeah, soft sponge cake. I might just grab like a box of them and here yeah, and just send him over one or two. I think the original, this one, yeah? Custard, yeah. I think that's probably the best one get that some tissues what else have we got over here this for Jeb Cormo eh? mm. at the pharmacy yeah okay got a bit of a sore throat. I had one cigarette like last week. I don't know why I did it and it's given me a sore throat ever since. It's a good reminder of why I don't smoke these days. Anyway, we'll buy this and this battery is about to die completely. I'm going to go do some editing and yeah, get this video uploaded. Thanks for watching. Gunman out. A day in the life of the gunman in Thailand.